Hi, I'm Doug Windiker. I'm a QA product specialist with Atlas Copco, and today we're going to cover the reports in QA Supervisor. So let's take a look. We're going to talk about the reports that we can uh, generate from the result area uh, under the inspection. So if I navigate over to the inspections and travel up to the results screen, opening up the, our results, um, these are all the results, right? So we have the option to filter and we can uh, be very specific in what uh, result we're looking for. If we're looking for calibrations or specific inspections, but uh, this is everything I have in, in this database right now. So if I click on station number four, the tool calibration, what I get on the right side is an inspection details. And then from the inspection details, I can get into the actual data. I can drill down to the an individual results collected and look at the traces of uh, the inspection. But then next to the data button, we have report. If I click on the report, Basically, what's going to happen is all the details that we see over here on the right side of, of the activity of this calibration is going to be printed out or saved a calibration certificate or report. So if I hit OK, that is now my downloads. And if I open up my Word document that it's created, this is the calibration report. This doesn't have to be a calibration report. It could be a CM, CMK. It could be an SBC or a CP, CPK. Regardless, the, the information that we have in the inspection is going to be formatted to what we see in the, those details. So in this case, again, a calibration, we're going to have all the traceable information regarding the transducer that we tested on, the tool information, the controller information, because this is a DC tool here. So down to the run chart we see, and this is a three-page report um, with an area at the bottom where we can sign the operator, can sign it, and so on and so forth. So if we need to save this, uh, print this out, if we need to... If we're not looking, saving it in the database, if we need email, we can do that. The nice thing about these reports is there's a couple areas that we can change what we view. Um, so this right now, this by default, on my software is set up to print to a Word document. We can change that to a PDF if we need to. And we can also maybe change this Atlas Copco logo to a different logo. So if you're a customer that's owning the software and you want to put your logo at the top, you have the option to do that. And I'll show you that now where we can do that. Okay, so to customize a report, I'm going to go up here to the upper right and open up our application settings. Uh, and in the application settings, under the general parameters, we have report format. Again, mine's formatted for a Word document, or we have the option to do a PDF. And underneath the format, we have the report logo, and this is where we can change and put a different logo that's displayed at the top of the report. So those are the two areas that we can change right now in the reports. Um, pretty straightforward and easy to do that. Again, these are the reports uh, that are generated from the result screen, uh, our inspection results. So anytime we click on any specific result, the details that we see on the right side, that's what's going to be generated. That's what the, the report is generated from is from that specific information. So that was the reports within QA Supervisor software. If you have any further questions, contact your Atlas Copco sales rep. And thank you for watching.